at the time of recording, I think this has zero subscribers, right? Yes, yeah. it does. So we're going to double that by the time this airs, I hope. I, I'm really hoping. <laughs> zero times zero. That would be... A <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Screw it. Let's triple it. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Let's triple zero. Quadruple it. Ooh. Hell yeah. yeah. You recently did a show in... Fargo? Oh, it was so much fun. People came out. We, we booked a small little theater of 100, and people drove like, some people drove 18 hours to go wow. to the show. That's crazy. So, like, moments like that make it really, really special and cool. Did mm -hmm. you have any stage fright, or was it? No, I don't get stage fright anymore going onto the stage. I think the only time it happens, it's not so much with the ones where I'm selling tickets and stuff, because I know how many tickets are sold, but when I was doing gigs, you have no idea what you're walking into. I've gotten to a point where I like when they're bad, because I'm like, ooh, a challenge. Right? Oh, yeah, because it's so second nature to you. I want to, like, be next to a dumpster with, like, a guy running chainsaw across the street. Oh. Just making loud noises police cars driving by now are you juggling chainsaws no you never done that right but if you're listening i'm trying to get i justine to juggle chainsaws with me so <laughs> go over to her channel leave this video <laughs> put a comment on her video juggle chainsaws with alex clark then come back here and tell us you did it thank you for wow. crumbling our watch time i really appreciate it oh they're gonna come back oh okay good yeah. i hope so yeah you didn't do stage performances you just did the backstage performances i don't like thinking about that time in my life to be honest with oh, you okay. uh, but it's fine. We'll go what back. What did you do? Oh, okay. uh, I did... <laughs> Were you nervous going on stage? Oh, I hated it. Why? Oh, it scared me. I wasn't even a lead, but I would freak out. Because, mm. well, there's so many, like, especially for musicals and plays, there's so many directions that you have to remember, and then you also have to act natural and like a different person at the same time. Mm. So it's like, here's all the things I have to do, and also there's people looking at me do it. It's very nerve-wracking. Yeah, it's so weird that you get scared, right? There's yeah. literally no reason to be scared. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's all it's all fight or flight. Like, yeah. that's what it, your brain is literally tricking you into thinking that you're in a life for death situation. It's the pituitary gland? Yes. The pituitary gland sends a hormone uh -huh. to your adrenal glands and then adrenaline gets pumped through your body and yeah. then it's bam. And you're dead. Well, you're not dead. Well, you're not dead. <laughs> Feels you're, like you're, it. You, you think you're going to die yeah. at your middle school's production of Seussical the Musical. I mean, you might die. If you, you get know. a heart attack. So, <laughs> can we confirm? Can we, uh, interns? Can, can we, we confirm? confirm? He's talking to a stepladder right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Pat's not all there. <laughs> I was gonna say the the only story I have is like one. Uh, we'll just call her Cindy. She was like the star. She was the best one, mm -hmm. quote unquote. But it's middle school. So what's no she doing good. now? I have no idea what she's doing. I hope she's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. What? I hope she's still alive. <laughs> Can we have a story. moment of silence just in case she passed? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair. That's good. Right, that was a good Cindy. moment. <laughs> Cindy was walking on stage. She turns to us and she goes. Let's get it, boys. <laughs> and then falls on this upside down rainbow set piece, lands directly on her face. Really? And you, yeah, and you hear the noise. Oh. <laughs> well, there's no topping that. They should have just, everyone should have went home right then. Yeah, oh my God. pack up the stage lights. Just pack all, all up. Home. Like, she's, she's lucky. That was... That was before YouTube. I'm just going to put it out there. I admire that confidence. Teacher school. Do they teach you how to deal with kids who are nervous? Yeah. So what do they recommend? If you're nervous, look at me. Because that's going to be a solid thing that they can like focus on. That's not like other people. Mm. Just like tell them to breathe a few times. Stretching helps a lot of the time, believe yeah. it or not. I think for me, the best advice I ever got was the first hundred times you do it, it's going to be awful. So you just have to do it a hundred times and then it'll be good. So just expect to suck. Like I sucked thousands of times and then like 5% of each performance didn't suck. And then you remember that. And then you start piecing all those 5% together and then 90% of it doesn't suck. Hmm. It's nice. You know the food that you eat also affects yeah. your anxiety levels? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. And during middle school, we would get a Big Mac before every performance. And all of us were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling rumblies in my tum tum. And I would think it's because I was afraid. And I probably was, but also it's that Big Mac fighting to get out. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever almost thrown up before going on stage? One time, uh, when we first started, we used to juggle fire and stuff in the show. You know, as you just, do. Just yeah, casual. casual. We used a Nalgene container that like said fire all over it, and that's where we poured the gasoline in, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we lost it or something. So we had a just a regular like Nestle pure water bottle. Not a sponsor. And we filled that with gasoline thinking we would just pour it on. And right before he starts, my buddy's like, oh, I couldn't find the container, so I filled this water bottle. The one without the label, is the one with the gasoline in it. Oh, no. So I'm like, all right, great. We go on the stage. We do our, like, opening five-minute monologue. And I go back to the case to take a swig of water and swallowed, like, three big gulps before I realized it was gasoline. 
Jeez. Yeah, did the whole rest of the show and couldn't sleep for like four nights. My poops were memorable for a couple weeks. Were they fire? Yeah. I'm picturing you on the toilet just going <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm surprised you survived. Mm -hmm. Me too. I remember gulp three, I was like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. Yeah, may as well take one more. Why don't you let us know in the comment section below if you're comfortable with it. Uh, was there ever a moment where you have stage fright? Do you hate public speaking? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell button so you're notified every time we post a new video. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to Alex Clark. Oh yeah, make sure you check out Alex Clark. He has a fantastic animation channel. It's very, very nice. Can I go by a different name for that? <laughs> <laughs> my ideal would just be that my legacy is that the only comment Justine gets is, will you juggle chainsaws with Alex Clark? <laughs> <laughs>